Hey guys, quick video about certificates on an Azure app service. I recently deployed a new version of this application, but to another subdomain. So instead of app.leisure.com, it's now adopt.leisure.com. However, I seem to get this not secured. Uh, I don't know. Um, for other domains that just worked from the first time, if I recall correctly, I didn't have to do much uh, special. What I what I usually do is just add a custom domain, then type in the domain like adopt.leisure.com, and then you might have to add some rows where you uh, registered your domain name, so uh, a C name record or a TXT record. Let's just uh, show you uh, something like that. You get a custom uh, verification ID. You can paste that as a TXT record, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, it's going to validate. Then you can click Add Custom Domain. Then you get something like this. However, if I recall correctly, previously that just secured automatically. Uh, add binding. You can try upload a certificate if you have your own certificate. I wouldn't recommend. <laughs> managing those or import app service certificates. Uh, but if I click that, there is none. So let's fix that by going to certificates. And I just added this one. Yeah, well, I was not recording, but just simply go to add certificate, type in the domain again. And then it's going to generate some friendly name and you just say validate and add. And it's going to tell you it will take 10 minutes for it to be created. But once it's created, you can just, you should. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Okay, now I'm seeing a different screen. I clicked add binding or just on the row. Now I can choose this certificate and choose this type, add binding, and it should be good. All right. Oops, so let's go back to the website. I refreshed, I'm still seeing not secure in here, but there's no cross through the uh, HTTPS anymore. So I think it's just a matter of refresh, um, Closing the browser, reopening it. Since if I click not secure, it's going to say connection is not secure, but it says certificate is valid. And I can even, it's telling me certificate by GeoTrust Global TLS, blah, 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 blah. So I could even take a look at the certificate if I want to. Let's see. I'm opening a new incognito mode tab. And if I go to the same URL, it's just giving me the secured version without any trouble. So I think that proves the point of just closing and reopening the browser. And it's all secure. So I did this for a server side app service project. So a pre-rendered Blazor WebAssembly project, actually. Uh, for most APIs, you don't need to do such things uh, since you don't need a friendly searchable name, or something, domain name. Uh, for the static web app, so for the front-end project, that's, I think it's automatically applied. Uh, let's have a look. So that's the not human readable name. Well, the, the complicated name generated by Azure. And that's my domain validated. 
see something went wrong in here. Possibly just a failed attempt. I... Anyway, I think there is no certificate tab in here, so I think that's just automatically applied. The same for this one. This is also a. Oh. Yeah. So that's for the static web apps, of course, the app service I just showed you. So APIs or pre-rendered applications. Anyway, that's all for the video. Uh, see you next time.